Look at you. I've never seen you limber up before the show starts. Hello, <laughs> my name's Adam Hills. Welcome to Speaks and Specs, the music quiz show between two teams of music lovers who know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Our first team captain, as always, is an actor, comedian and record buff who mixes it with love and makes the world taste good. He's Alan Bro. <laughs> According to his band's website, Alan's first guest weighs 84 kilograms, has brown eyes and is extremely good looking with an athletic build and chiselled features. Is that you? We're not quite sure who this guy is, <laughs> but he reckons he's Harry James Angus from the Cat Empire. Yay. Well, you've got to write something. <laughs> Alan's final team member was once introduced on stage at the Montreal Comedy Festival as, quote, being reminiscent of Elizabeth Taylor. Before the MC added, you know, in that old alcoholic kind of way. <laughs> All the way from Alice Springs, it's comedian and mother of five, Fiona O'Loughlin. Yeah. Yeah. I'm winning points with my kids. I'm sitting next to someone from the Cat Empire. I've actually got a food processor older than you. <laughs> Our second team captain tonight is a woman who walks like she talks and she talks like she walks. It's Miff Warhurst. <laughs> Miff's first guest tonight fronted a band that boasted 20 consecutive hit singles in the 70s, then went on to become one of Australia's most successful solo artists. He has been described as an indelible part of the fabric of Oz Rock. He is Daryl Braithwaite. <laughs> Miss final guest fronted a band that boasted a tour of Victoria's biggest scout halls. Yes. <laughs> then went on to play a support gig at a roller skating rink. True. He's comedian Dave O'Neill. <laughs> Daryl, I've got nothing older than you, mate. No. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what, what, dad? My dad's probably older than you. Uh, no, uh, uh, my dad's 70 this year, so I'm I sure just not add that while Harry excites me a lot, you were my first love, Daryl. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Can I, can I say exactly the same thing? One of my, my <laughs> earliest memories was going up to the yeah, television yeah. when Sherbet were on because you were wearing a full piece it would have been jumpsuit hot. and yes. it was very hot, cut yeah. down to the yeah. you know, waist like that. And I, remember, I kissed the television. Oh! I was five. I did the same thing, I kissed, but I was 27 and I'm happily married. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> right, let's kick the game off with round one. Miff and Alan pick the topics that everybody will be quizzed on. Your choices tonight are Over There, Songs of World War II, Ten Pound Invasion, The Immigrants That Gave Us Oz Rock, uh, Latin Music, and Home Baked. Mm. So, Alan, pick a topic. Well, um, Harry. Ooh. Latin Music. Latin Music? <laughs> Latin music? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I just recorded an album in Cuba, so I'm, oh. I reckon I'm pretty, I'm pretty right on that subject. OK, that's all we need. <laughs> <laughs> and also, if there are any things about cigars or fascist dictatorships, then we'll be fine with that. <laughs> what music it is, Miff? Which topic would you like? I think we've got all generations covered here. We've got an Oz Rocker from the 80s. 80s. Oz in the 80s, Oz yeah. Rocker from the 70s. And I would just like a bit of rock and roll occasionally. So, mm. Mm. You, do you think we should go with that? Yes. yes. A bit of um, okay. £10 invasion. I thought it was £110, because I'm an expert on meatloaf. <laughs> 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 Bad out of hell. There we go. Yeah, Jim Steinberg. Can... Oh, what his name was. Oh, Steinberg. <laughs> oh, no. That was the Jewish meatloaf, Jim Steinberg. <laughs> oh, like a bat out of hell. What is this? The morning's come, my back is gone. Oh, I can't do this. <laughs> we'll start with Latin. Everyone on your buzzers, let's play Spicks and Specs. Uh, your first question for one point. In 1996, who produced and performed on the Grammy Award-winning album The Buena Vista Social Club? Rykuda. Rykuda, well done, Harry. Excellent. Good start. Good start. For two points, born in 1923 and raised in New York's El Barrio district, which famous Puerto Rican is responsible for the following piece of music and who covered it in 1970? <laughs> Santana covered it. Santana covered it. There's a point. Does anyone else want to help me out with the first up? Uh, Priest Prado? No. Anyone on this side? Uh, Ricky Martin? <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Martin's grandpa. <laughs> it was Tito Puente. Oh, my oh, God. All these records. <laughs> three points on the line for your final question. Oh, Have go. a listen to this. Identify each of these three Latin rhythms. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, Alan's team, yes. Tango, one. Well, we've got Tango definitely number two. One of them must be the cha-cha. One of them would have to be the cha-cha, and the other one would be salsa. All right, which one was the salsa? Why don't you do some for us? I reckon, um... <laughs> Let's go first, first, first salsa, third charger. With your top off. But it's just a guess. <laughs> okay, salsa and tango were correct. I'll give you a point if you know the last one. Samba? As I said, but I'm not sure. We're going with Daryl on this one. Yeah, Samba. Samba. It's Samba. The first one was uh, Salsa <laughs> Peon by Cubanismo. The second one was a tango called Jealously by T Rose 2. The last one was Mambo oh. number 8 oh, by Perez Mambo. Prado. Oh. Oh. That's, yeah, that's yeah, not that's bad. Now, uh, Harry, your band, The Cat Empire, recorded uh, your most recent album in the actual Buena Vista Social Club uh, recording studios. Yeah. Is that right? Studio Graham, it's called, yeah. What, were the, what are the Cuban musicians like to play with? Ah, oh, they're great. I mean, being a trumpet player myself, um, it was really nice to go to a place where the trumpet players play as loud as I do. I also heard that the Cuban musicians are incredibly diligent. Is that yeah. right? They work incredibly well, I mean, hard. They do work hard because um, music, you know, it's a very poor society and music's one of the only things they've got. Right, as opposed to Australian musicians and possibly yourself, who I understand at one point threw up into your own trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> That's my <Hey>. boy. <laughs> Oh, God, I can't believe that makes him more attractive. Then. <laughs> Let's move on to Ten Pound Invasion. Your first question for one point. Coincidentally arriving in Australia on the same ship as the Bee Gees in 1958 was which surly glam rock guitarist? Um, oh, oh no, no, Red, Simons. Red Simons. Red Simons it was. Nice work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next question worth two points. Singer Glenn Shorrock emigrated from England as a teenager to the post-war migration community of Elizabeth in South Australia. Listen to the following bit. Tell me the band he's performing with and give me one other band he was a member of. Well, Twilights. That was the Twilights. But he was also in Little River Little Band, River of course. Band. He was oh, also in Little River Band, yeah. Axiom, The Checkmates, Esperanto Rock Orchestra, a whole stack of others. Oh. Two points, well done. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Yeah. Finally, for three points. Watch this clip. Tell me the name of the song, who wrote it, and where in Sydney they met and formed the band. Well, it's the Easy Beats. Yes. Yeah, easy it was easy the Easy Beats. I need the name of the song. It's um, Friday on My Mind. Friday, on, Friday my mind. on My Mind. It was Friday, Friday on My Mind. Well done. Who wrote the song? Vander and Young, wouldn't it be? Yep. It was Vander and Young. And where did they meet? They met in a, a migration camp, but I can't remember which one. Does anyone but, on this uh, side Woomera. know what I meant? Uh, Woomera. <laughs> Baxter. Uh, Maribyrnong. Uh, <laughs> it was a detention uh, center. Villawood. <laughs> Villawood. <laughs> yes! Oh, yes. Oh, what a goal! Oh, oh, I'm getting to Villawood. <laughs> it is amazing to consider how many immigrants have contributed to the Australian music industry. Uh, without immigrants, we wouldn't have had Cold Chisel, Little River Band, Skyhooks, The Bee Gees, ACDC or John Farnham. Channel 10 have already jumped onto this idea and are planning a reality show in which illegal immigrants are only granted <laughs> refugee status if they can play an instrument or hum a tune. <laughs> don't give them ideas, Adam. Uh, don't miss Asylum Idol coming to your screen soon. Asylum Idol. Oh, man. At the end of that first round, the scores are five points each. Alan, Harry, Fiona on five. Miff, Daryl and Dave also on five. Well done. Oh, One member of each team in this round will be drawing song titles for their teammates without using words or numbers. Mm. Harry, you'll be drawing for Alan and Fiona. Would you like to accompany me up to the art gallery, please, ladies and gentlemen? Mate. Harry James Angus from the Cat Empire. Yeah. There is your texter. 60 seconds on the clock to draw song titles. And your time starts now. <laughs> The Laughing Policeman. Um, heart, I love you. Heart, uh, heart of glass. Um, I like what you're doing there. Heart of um, devil's heart. Um, Devil. Heart of goblin. Um, cat <laughs> empire. No. Ca cat heart. Cat. cat <laughs> I love cats. <laughs> love cats. Love oh, cats. Yes. yes. Oh, All right. It's a a hot uh, a mic a. a Hangman. We're playing Hangman. The Saint or something. The Saints. The Saints. The Saints come uh, marching in. That's the one. Nice work, Fiona. Yeah. Yeah. 
Right. They definitely were marching as well. That was excellent marching. Oh, oh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, uh, 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 oh, I like what you're doing dynamite. there. Dynamite. Oh. Dynamite. Dynamite. Um, dynamite. Um, this is the best thing I've ever seen. Well, wow. well um, uh, blow, blow, Harry, um, uh, um, blowing up, blowing up, cherry bomb, bomb, cherry bomb, <laughs> cherry bomb, cherry no. Bomb. Yeah. Oh, Pump up the jam. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Can we give yes. that? No, I'm afraid it was after the buzzer. Let's go back and check. That was Love Cats <laughs> by The Cure. Yeah. Well done, you nailed that one. When the Saints go marching yes, in. They do really good yeah, marching as that well. That was excellent. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> that one, I'm afraid you didn't make it in time, was Pump Up The Jam. <laughs> yeah. and and the the that, that's the jam, jam pot, isn't it? He's done yeah. cherries and a strawberry up the top. Yeah. <laughs> it's Fruits of the Forest jam that they're pumping up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was beautiful. Yeah, that was excellent. Just lovely. Yeah. Nice work, Harry. Well done, Luke. Well done, Dave. Dave. Sure. Come okay. on down, ladies and gentlemen, Dave O'Neill. Oh, right. All right, here you go. Right. I'll do it Mr. Squiggle style, if it's okay with you. <laughs> <laughs> hurry up, hurry, hurry up. up. <laughs> right, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, 60 seconds on the clock. Okay. Go. Okay, we've got um, a rocket ship, Mountain. maybe. Um, rocket Man? Yes, Rocket Man. Oh, Elton John well, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> place for rocket ship. That was good. Oh, oh no, it's hard. Um, okay. Um, um, no idea what Snail. that is. A swan. It's a bird. Fried swan dinosaur. Lake. Swan Lake, yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Face, happy clowns, clowns. Um, where are the clowns? <laughs> Send in the clowns. Um, in the clowns. Itchy and scratchy, crusty the clown. Um, good ship, the good ship, something lollipop. Oh, <laughs> hairy man, pass. I can't wait to come back and tell you what that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing to me? Uh, okay. Um, aliens. Aliens. <laughs> aliens. Aliens. Um, spaceman. Flying. Um, Molly Mildrum. It's terrible, isn't it? But, uh, <laughs> let's go back. Oh, look at that. Yeah. 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 I should sign these. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> now the uh, right. <laughs> Let's all have a good look, well, at, well, look at what happened here. Yeah, Rocket okay. Man. Rocket that man. was Rocket yeah. Man. Yeah. That was that excellent was good. work. Yeah. Yeah. That was Swan Lake. Yeah, that's brilliant. That's Very great. rudimentary. That's <laughs> Ellie Picasso. That was God saving the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What church did you go to if that is God? This is terrible. This is my abstract <laughs> period. This is, uh, <laughs> was a satellite yeah, of, love. of love. Yeah, that's What's it. What's Molly Meldrum oh. doing in this? I don't know what Molly's doing in this. <laughs> 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 No one else understands it. I'll oh, sign this right, one. Alan Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dave O'Neill, everyone. Yeah. After that round, Fiona, Harry, Alan, Miff, Daryl, and Dave all on seven points. Yeah. Right, let's move on to the next round, which is Sample Mania. That's right. Oh, oh yes, very smooth. <laughs> <laughs> it's the name of round three, and here's how it works. Each team will hear short snippets of songs. You have to listen carefully and identify as many songs as you can. Miff, Daryl and Dave, you're up first. <laughs> what were those songs? Bittersweet okay. Symphony, oh. Baby Love. Thunderstruck, uh, Thunderstruck. by ACDC. Yep. Chim Chimini was the last one, mm -hmm. and I didn't know number four. Anyone? Yeah, four, da, 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 da. Oh, Crunchy Granola by uh, Neil Diamond. Yeah. Let's have a listen back. Bittersweet Symphony by The Verve. <laughs> Baby Love by The Supremes. <laughs> Thunderstruck, ACDC. Crunchy Granola Sweet, Neil Diamond. Oh, yeah. And it was Chim Chim Cheri from the Mary Poppins soundtrack. Close enough, five out of five. Oh, wow. Wow. Harry and Fiona. Precious on. Here are your song snippets. Uh, 
something by the doors, LA Woman. No. Um, um, Roadhouse Blues. Roadhouse Blues, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Ofer Tuna from Carmina Barania. Um, fourth one. <laughs> fourth one. Come on, Aussie, come on. Oh, come on, Aussie, come on. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. So how many are we missing now? We're two. Missing... You're missing two. Two. And the last one was a, a, a TV ad. Uh, oh, Carmen... oh, 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 no, that, yeah, I've got that Ofer Tuna. <laughs> <laughs> um, what did the other two sound like that we haven't got yet? Yeah. Um... <laughs> Damn it, I knew that wouldn't work, but I thought I'd give it a go. That's Opening sad. it up, Miff's team. Uh, I reckon there's old 55 get a job. And need you tonight in excess. Let's have a listen. Roadhouse Blues, The Doors. Need you tonight in excess, well done, Miff. It was get a job. It, that one was by Silhouettes. Come on, Aussie, come on. And O Fortuna from Kamina Burana. So three points to Alan's team, but Miff's team oh, stole two. Oh, well done. Get a job, Charlie. At the end of that round, the scores are oh. Alan, Harry, Fiona on 10, Miff, Daryl, Dave out in front on 14 points. Oh. One team member will be singing the tune of a well-known song using the words of an obscure book. Their teammates have to work out what the song is. Daryl, you'll be singing for Miff and Dave, yeah. and you'll be taking Fantastic. your lyrics from the Holden Gemini Service and Repair <laughs> Manual. <Yeah. laughs> 1977 to 1979. Uh, your songs are here. Don't show your teammates. Ladies and gentlemen, Daryl Braithwaite. Yay! Are you going to hold the microphone properly, Daryl? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, don't you, Daryl? <laughs> yeah, come on, Daryl. Mate, come on! <laughs> That's what Sherbert used to do. <laughs> I've been looking at you. Tell me. Okay, come on. <laughs> Put it back on the marks there. You're okay. not going to do that. Okay, fair enough. Right. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> hard to get it all together, but. <sighs> okay. To selection and care. A sensible selection of tools. <laughs> can greatly influence the ease and quality of work performed be <laughs> of work performed by the operator. It is good advice to purchase the highest quality of tools that can be afforded. Tools which bear the maker's name are usually the best. This is Does anybody at all know what that is? That was All My Friends Are Getting Married by Skyhawk. Oh, guys. Well, all my friends are getting married. Sorry. Why don't you sing it like that? <laughs> I love that song. Next song, please, Daryl. <laughs> Connect that tower, tower, meter and timing. Light to the engine according to the meter manufacturer's instructions. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it one of your own songs? <laughs> it's not? OK, we're well, looking for clues. <laughs> looking for clues there. Just the engine idle speed to spare certifications that... Walk like a man! Walk like a man! Song with falsetto, basically. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that was Walk Like a Man by the Four Seasons. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> Sung like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Next nice. song, please, Daryl. <laughs> Main bearing noise is encaded by a heavy but dull knock. <laughs> How's that? Yes, yes. it is. That last song was How's That by Sherbet, uh, a song that hit number four in the UK, number one in Australia, and stayed in the Australian charts for an amazing 32 weeks. Daryl Braithwaite. Yeah. Yeah. I've always wanted to know what happened to your costumes, because these guys used to wear some pretty amazing, you know, full jumpsuits and mm. all that kind of gear. It was all very glamorous when I was five. And have you still got any of them? No, it's all gone, except for one jacket, a bomber jacket. 
You put that on for special nights? With the missus? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. That's a bit, a bit of Silvery Moon on the record player. <laughs> silvery Moon. It's a great yeah. song. Oh. It was a great uh, song. I love this yeah, song. Yeah, but it doesn't deserve the jacket, I don't think. No, it doesn't deserve the jacket. No, you're right. The, the jacket no. doesn't come out. No. It, come no. on, it comes out no. for how's that? <laughs> <laughs> Right, let's move on. <laughs> Fiona, hmm. you'll be singing for Alan and Harry, and you'll be taking your lyrics from <laughs> The Complete Illustrated Guide to Home Taxidermy. Oh, let's get this over with, shall we? <laughs> we'll all go Ladies home. and gentlemen, Fiona O'Loughlin. Thank you. Um, comments by skinning the head of the animal, deer, wild sheep, antelope, etc. To remove the scalp, any sharp knife will do. A medium-sized pocket knife is the ideal size. From Little Things, Big Things Grow. It's From Little Things, yes. Big Things Grow by Paul Kelly oh, and Kev right. Carmody. Well done. Yeah. Get a flat pan or box larger in length than the fish. <laughs> and about three inches deep or deeper. Fill the container. The container, the container <laughs> with sand. <laughs> Lay the fish on the sand and bury half of it. <laughs> Leaving one side the tail and the dorsal fin no. exposed. All right, I'm gonna container, I'm gonna... container. <laughs> Rosanna by Toto. Rosanna oh. by Toto. <laughs> Rosanna. It is best to pick a day when you have many successive hours in which to work, in which to work. <laughs> yes. With the bird, I want to sing this. <laughs> <laughs> Can you, can you go, Fiona? Work with a pheasant. Oh, no, now I'm back to Rosanna. No, okay. uh, oh, I've forgotten what it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's good on Karma Chameleon yes. by the Culture Club. Karma oh, Chameleon by Culture Club. Well done. <laughs> Fiona O'Loughlin. Well done. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to stop you mid <laughs> in the middle of your stride. Let's check the scores. Uh, Alan, Harry and Fiona are on 12 points. Miff, Daryl and Dave are way out in front on 17 points. Oh, yeah. well, Teams, hands on your buzzers. One point for a correct answer, one point off for a wrong answer. Your questions start now. Where am I headed if I'm on a dark desert highway, cool wind... Hotel California. Yes, Hotel California. Dead or alive, Johnny Cash? Dead. Dead. Nice work. <laughs> According to... <laughs> I meant nice work on the answer. <laughs> In jazz circles, who is known as the king of ragtime? Scott Joplin. <laughs> Scott Joplin, well done, oh, Harry. Yeah. Oh, I knew it was there yeah, somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wonderwall was a hit for which fiery UK? Oasis. It was Oasis. Oasis. What are the three most common types of accidentals in musical notation? What? Sharp, flat, <laughs> Falling natural. Falling off your bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, correct. Well done, Harry. Yeah. In what year did Kurt Cobain die? 94. 1994. Well oh, done, Al. Nice, man. Did Bob Dylan play the original Woodstock? Oh. Have a guess. Daryl? Yes. <laughs> no! Oh. A hit for which rock legends was Whole Lot of Love? <gasps> Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. Oh. Name the legendary jazz muso who holds the record as the oldest artist to hold a number one hit in the UK. I just like pressing it. Louis Armstrong. <laughs> With the song What a Wonderful World, it was Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong. Well done. Angry Anderson cool. was the front man for which? Oh. Rose Haddon. Rose Haddon. <laughs> Your final question, true or false? All the things you could be by now if Sigmund Freud's wife was your mother is the title of a real piece of music. Frank Zappa. True or false? <laughs> true. True. It was by jazz bassist yes. and composer extraordinaire Charles Mingus. Oh, Charles Mingus. Oh, well, that's oh, God. Oh, well done. At the end of the rounds, the scores are Miff, Daryl and Dave on 18 points, Alan, Harry, Fiona, one with 20 points. Would <laughs> 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 oh, you please thank all our guests for tonight? Harry, James, Angus, Fiona O'Loughlin, Daryl Braithwaite and Dave O'Neill. Well
And of course, our two team captains, Alan Bro and Miff Warhurst. Yeah. We'd like to leave you tonight with a film clip that may be slightly embarrassing to one of our panel members. We have managed to track down a clip by Dave O'Neill's band. <laughs> Well, that's great. Well, maybe I'll get some royalties. Yeah. A band which went by the name of Captain Coco. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching Spicks and Specs. My name's Adam Hills. Good night, Australia. Everyone just knows how skinny I was. It's like a before and after ad. You have a look. It's unbelievable. And which one are you? In I'm the bass player. It's my twin brother who's the lead singer. Oh, there he is. That's me. <laughs> I'm the old lady in the hat. Get out! Look at that old bloke. <laughs> That's me in the pink shirt, kind of. Um... That's my twin brother living in Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cat empire, don't you think, Harry? It's uh... Oh, we did a clip in a train. Look at that acoustic bass oh, play. Oh. I know, check it out. Look at the violent it's more, it's more Oingo Boingo Haircut 100. It is very Haircut 100. We love Haircut 100. You're right. Here's one of our roadies. Yeah. <laughs> Time for a guitar solo. Oh. <laughs> Here's the dancing. Check oh. it out. Oh. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Wild. Oh, that's terrible. See, we're like punk. This is a terrible punk rock. Why are people in your band? <laughs> oh. No one's going the same way as each other. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I've got a son now. Oh. Yeah. It's embarrassing.